Last August, I was told that in all likelihood, I had, I had three to six months left to live. I'm on month nine now, and I'm not going to get down and do any push-ups. but there will be a short pickup basketball game later. Um, somebody said to me, in light of those numbers, wow, so you're really beating the Grim Reaper. And what I said without even thinking about is that we don't beat the Reaper by living longer. We beat the Reaper by living well and living fully. For the Reaper will come for all of us. The question is, what do we do between the time we're born and the time he shows up? Because when he shows up, it's too late to do all the things that you're always going to kind of get around to. So I think the only advice I can give you on how to live your life well is first off, remember, it's a cliche, but I love cliches. It is not the things we do in life that we regret on our deathbed. It is the things we do not. Because I assure you, I've done a lot of really stupid things, and none of them bother me. All the mistakes and all the dopey things and all the times I was embarrassed, they don't matter. What matters is that I can kind of look back and say, pretty much any time I got a chance to do something cool, I tried to grab for it. And that's where my solace comes from. The second thing that I would uh, add to that, and I didn't coordinate on, on the subject of this word, but I think it's the right word that comes up, is passion. And you will need to find your passion. Many of you have already done it. Many of you will later. Many of you may take till your 30s or 40s, but don't give up on finding it, right? Because then all you're doing is waiting for the reaper. Find your passion and follow it. And if there is anything I have learned in my life, you will not find that passion in things. And you will not find that passion in money. Because the more things and the more money you have, the more you will just look around and use that as the metric, and there will always be someone with more. So your passion must come from the things that fuel you from the inside. And honors and awards are nice things, but only to the extent that they regard the real respect from your peers. And to be thought well of by other people that you think even more highly of is a tremendous honor that I've been granted. Find your passion. And in my experience, no matter what you do at work or what you do in official settings, that passion will be grounded in people and it will be grounded in the relationships you have with people and what they think of you when your time comes. And if you can gain the respect of those around you and the passion and true love, and I've said this before, but I waited till 39 to get married because I had to wait that long to find someone where her happiness was more important than mine. And if nothing else, I hope that all of you can find that kind of passion and that kind of love in your life. Thank you.
think they'll drop the bomb Mother, do you think they'll like this song? Mother, do you think they'll try to break my balls? Mother, should I run for president? Mother, should I trust the government? Just a waste of time Hush now baby, baby Don't you cry Mama's gonna make all of your nightmares come true Mama's gonna put all of her fears into you Mama's gonna keep you right here under her wing She won't let you fly, but she might let you sing Mama's gonna keep baby cozy and warm Ooh, baby Mama's gonna help build the world Mother, did it need to be so high?